30 minutes devoted to saving you money. Have you ever really looked at a price tag? I mean, really looked at it? It lists more than just the cost of the item. You might see a symbol here or maybe a letter there. And as Terry Sullivan explains, cracking those codes could save you big bucks. You've seen these signs in your favorite stores, sales, clearance, markdowns. But there's something else that should catch your eye. And most times it's right there on the price tag. Secret store codes that could tell you when something is a real deal or if the savings are about to get even bigger. You see a clearance tag and you think it's a great deal, but if you know how to decode the clearance tag, you might come back the following week and get an even better deal. Consumer blogger Lynette Rice of CleverlySimple.com says it's a numbers game that can save you a lot of cash if you crack the code. She showed us how it works. At Target, in the upper right-hand corner, you're going to see a little number. It might say 30 or 50. That's a percent off. So every 10 to 14 days, they're going to mark that item down again. So if there's plenty in stock and it's only 30% off, you might want to wait until it's 50% off so you can save more on that item. We put it to the test. Kohl's always seems to have a sale going on. But by cracking the code on the electronic shelf tag, we found different deals. The secret's in the letters in the top right corner. NM, new markdown. BB, a bonus buy, a limited time price drop. GVB means a great value, one that won't last more than two days. BGH, buy one, get one half off. I love the red clearance tag. This is an exciting time of year. There's lots of sales and there's lots of deals, but you still want to watch and make sure you get the best deal for the best price. At Old Navy, prices ending in 47, 49, 97, or 99 are in clearance or discontinued. Probably the best price you're going to get. We also found savings at Sears. Prices ending in 87 cents were on clearance, with different monthly colored tags showing the price decrease. Tags ending in 88 cents, like this home dehumidifier, are basement bargains. The price won't go any lower. Something to think about in the upcoming shopping season. Start early, and everybody's going to be shopping around Black Friday. And hold on to those receipts. A lot of stores have a price match guarantee where you can bring your receipt back, even if it's a lower price, and get a better deal. Savings that are in the bag. This is Terry Sullivan reporting. When it comes to raising a child, we all know there's a hefty cost. In fact, new data shows we'll spend $250,000 to get a child into adulthood. But first-time parents can cut some of those costs by bringing up baby under some simple principles. Parenting and baby care website, thebump.com, recommends using the time before baby arrives to craft a new budget. Figure out what extra money you have each month, what m money you can have once you cut back on a few things, and really start to keep track. And put that money aside if you can, so put it in a savings account, another account, and live off of your new budget for a few months before the baby arrives. The Bump advises three B's to keep costs down. Buy in bulk from big box and warehouse stores. Borrow items from family and friends. Bargain hunt among secondhand outlets. Better for items like clothing. Less for items like strollers and cribs that could be outdated in terms of safety requirements. And don't be shy about putting those big ticket items on a registry. You might think that somebody isn't going to spend, you know, $500 on your baby shower, but a few friends might go in together, your mother and your grandmother might go in together and get uh, one of those items for you. Child care can make up the bulk of expenses. One idea? Splitting the cost of a nanny among family and friends who have children the same age. Using Mother Nature to cut your costs. Why now is a good time to look at rain barrels. Making sure you get the most out of your bank. What you need to look for. 